What's going on guys and welcome back for another tutorial video. My name is Calum and today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade container software. It is so quick and so easy that users won't even realize that you've just upgraded the entire server. Here I have my OpenFire server up and running. Um, this upgrade process is the same regardless of what the application is. In this particular case I've been kind of doing a series on OpenFire, so I'm using OpenFire to demonstrate. Um, as you can see right here in the banner, it says that uh, software version 4.9.0 is now available. Uh, so what we're going to do is update our container from 4.8.1, which is the current build, to 4.9.0. Now, just to, uh, to make it a little bit more real, I am going to log in with my user account on a uh, chat client, just so that you can see how fast this transition goes. Uh, as you can see, it says that I'm online on my chat client. So the first thing I'm going to do is jump over to my Docker host where I have the OpenFire container running. And I'm going to do a Docker pull. I'm going to specify the repository for the new software. Forward slash the image that I'm looking for. And then I'm going to do colon and specify the version that I want, which is 4.9.0. I'm going to pull that image down so that I have it locally. It'll take just a quick second to download. Now that I have the new image, I'm going to run a string of commands that is going to essentially stop the Docker container that I'm running. So I'm going to run docker stop openfire, which is the name of my container. I'm going to do and and, which means after that command is done, I want to run another command. This one's going to be docker remove openfire, so that it will entirely remove the container that I have running. And then I'm going to do and 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 I'm going to run the docker command that's going to stand up the container. So as you can see right here, um, the last time that I ran this command, I was pulling just the, the latest tag. Anytime you don't specify a specific tag with a colon, it will go out and pull the latest. Um, now there are cases where latest is the latest stable version, which was the case when I deployed this OpenFire server, and it pull, pulled version eight, or sorry, version 4.8.1. Um, version 4.9.0 is available now, but it hasn't been tagged with latest. I'm going to put tag 4.9.0. It's going to shut down, remove, and restart this container. As you can see, my chat client did disconnect. It's going to reconnect in just a second. And I'm already back up and running. Now, it only took about two seconds to update this software. If I hit uh, F5, refresh my page here, I can log back in as admin. And you can see the update banner is gone. If I move this window over, you can see that I am now running version 4.9.0. So that took just seconds to update. Um, it's so fast, in fact, that depending on the client, uh, this particular client had a 10 second uh, wait time programmed into it for a reconnect attempt. There are other clients that will try to reconnect immediately, um, and they would have reconnected, and the users could have been mid chat and not even known that the application went down. It's just that fast. Uh, another uh, awesome thing about this is that if you find that you have issues, with the new version, you can roll back in just the same way. You would, you would stop and remove the current container and then specify the, the version of the last image that you were running um, and you can roll back super quick. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please feel free to drop a comment and like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. We'll see you next time.